truth. I'm not afraid. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring it out in such details. You will understand. Let me say this to you, Hebrew Israelites. You know that's a lie when you call yourself a Jew. There is no words as far as Jew. And those that call themselves Jews or Jewish, you must understand from Jeremiah, Jeremiah 7.14, that was the first time they took on the name. It derived from Yishai. And in the 1800s, it goes from that ordained by the new religions, I will prove everything I say. Then they say, well, it's come from Yehuda. And I will show you the scholarship of Jews, Mr. Goldstein and others, that will tell you it's a lie. And they know that. How is it that, that Pesach every year is at the same time, especially with those that are Jews, same day, cannot fall on a certain day, cannot get a few the regular ship up. That's a fact. And you pursue those lies and you teach each of the lies. They're totally lies, they're fabricated. And I'm going to spend quality time just on that subject. The true feast days, the Mo'adim of Yah. And not only the Mo'adim, but also, my friend, we will deal with one factor. Whether it's the truth or lies. Whether we draw from scholarship of those that have... Uh, tremendous scholarship and literature out there that you can read we draw from our emotions and our feelings to say that we are those that are identified as Jews you are not my friend there is no such word in our vernacular as the word you it is not well the KJV there were scriptures before the KJV many of you all cannot tell me when they began when King James when they began to even began the implementation or even the interpretation of the writings. That was not, but that's not the first scripture. That's a fact. But that's what you fed the people because we're ignorant. I understand I'm an ignorant man. You have fed the people those lies. They're not true. And you know that. And you must come to the honest reality that you have fed them fraudulent things. I am going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's more dense. They have this circular motion. They revolve. They evolve. And they are not held at the same time of the year. How do you get one say, well, we keep Hanukkah calendar. You got to keep it 354 days, 355 days, or 353 days. 353, 354, 355. Also, 383, 384, and 385. There's an inserting of a month seven times in the 19-year cycle. And if you study the 19-year cycle from Metan or the Metanet, you will see, you will understand that this is a philosophy from those Greek philosophers so that the year will catch up. You will never catch the year. Yah gave us the time, the preciseness, and I'm not afraid to challenge you all. So we'll have the feast days of the Mordem at the beginning of, this is the 30th of November. We have them up by the first of feast. May the riches of God rest upon you all. And be encouraged, I have enjoyed pan the things up. I've enjoyed the beauty of these waters. Such a beautiful thing, I'll tell you. I don't know if I'll ever make it back, but I've enjoyed that. Enjoy the waters. I enjoy our children coming and seeing this. And because uh, COVID is somewhat, somewhat being corralled, then they'll be able to go on other trips farther than what they have been able to do in the last three years. So I want to say in the closing of this, my friends, May the riches of Yah rest upon you and may the sincerity of truth is imat fill your hearts with great delight. Shabbat Shalom.